BSM TV. Uh, today we are going to look on a, a small subject uh, about the topic of the history foretells the future. Some of the people they neglect the history without knowing that the history holds the future. So today we are going to look on GC 343.1. The work of God mm -hmm. in the earth presents from edge to edge yes. a striking similarity yes. in every great reformation or religious movement. Okay. The word of the work of God in the earth presents from edge to edge a striking similarity. A striking similarity which means it's it's the same. Right. So God is saying there is a similarity in every movement in every age to age. So go on, the principle. The principles of God's dealings with mm. men yes. are ever the same. Okay. The principles of God's what? Dealings. Dealings with men are ever the same. Yeah. So there's nothing new on earth. There's a statement that says there's nothing new on earth. So go on, the important. The important mm. movement of the present mm -hmm. have their parallel mm -hmm. in those of the past the present have the parallel with the chief with the past and yeah. go on the important movements of the present have, the, have their parallel in those of the past and the experience of the church in former ages has lessened of great value for our own time you see, so those that we are uh, uh, lived in in, 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 in in past that we can call a history, it says they have a greater lesson that we need to value in our own time. And okay. so I want you to read on TM XXXIV.3. TM XXXIV.3. History mm -hmm. can repeat itself, uh -huh. and human beings can be guilty of forgetting. Human beings, we are guilty of forgetting that history repeats itself. Repeats itself. Amen. So in every, in every, I like the statement says, in, it, there's nothing new on earth. You will see as, as we go along that there's nothing new in, on earth. Let us read CTR. 256.6 History will mm. repeat itself. Amen. But the people who obey the commandments of God mm -hmm. have no controversy. Uh -huh. They take the word of God for their guide. But it's but it it, 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 it is specifying that it's an, an another group or another opinion. If something is bad is is bad and you put bad, which means the next one is is good. Is good. Okay. So the history repeats itself, but the people of God, because on top we hear that people are guilty of forgetting that history is, is, is more important in our own time, in yeah. every movement. So we hear some uh, something new on, on this scripture. There are, there are some of the movements which are called religious movements. So even in the past, they were there. Moses' time, the first Exodus movement, it was a moving religious. It was, it, 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 they didn't have a church or a stationary church that you can say this, this is the church of God. This is the building of, say, as the Jews did, they had a, a synagogues. But it was a movement. Christ, it was a movement religion. And mm -hmm. even in our time, there is a movement religion. You see? So let's go on. Uh, on PM PM 175.3, I want to illustrate something that uh, it says, but the people of God obey the commandments of God, have no controversy. They take the word of God for their guide. So yeah. if if you if you know that you are a child of God, please obey the commandment so that you can have no controversy on this issue. Two, take the word of God to be your guide. 
Amen. And yeah. so read PM 175.3. It says past experience. Past experience prepare for future. You hear? Past experiences prepare for future. Yeah. Why is that? Let, let us hear. Again? again and again. Yes. I have been shown that mm -hmm. the past experiences of God's people yes. are not to be counted as dead facts. Again, again, yeah. I've been shown that the past experience of God's people are not to be counted as dead facts. Mm -hmm. facts. Don't count them as dead facts. Some of the people they say we don't need Old Testament because it, it was for the for, for the old people or or, or for the patriarchs or for the prophets or, or, or before Christ. We're just dealing with the New Testament. Why so? You are you, you don't want a, a, your future to be a nice future to or to all of you who are worshiping God. You just want the New Testament, but the New Testament can't help you. God is saying, history prepares for your future. So let us hear uh, the next. It says, we are... We are not to treat the record of these experiences. Yes. As we would treat a last year's almanac. Mm -hmm. The record is to be kept in mind. Yes. For the history will repeat itself. Yes. The darkness of the mysteries of the night is to be illuminated with the light of heaven. So the darkness of the night is to be illuminated, is to be removed by the light of heaven. What does that mean? That means to say, uh, if you want uh, the light from heaven to light, you need to remove the dark. How? Our parents, we know they fell. Adam fell. Uh, by take, partaking the, the, the tree of life, so he failed. And mm -hmm. uh, tree. Uh, who else? There are many people who failed or who uh, uh, slide back because of their uh, disobedience to God. So uh, their failures are to prepare our future. Yes. Do you hear this? They are they are darkening side. There is to be given, there is to be removed and put the light. So we can't continue the same, uh, 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 the same, what can I say? The same failure which yes. our parents did. We can't continue that. We can't continue with that. If we must take a step, take a step, we need to advance yes. in everything that we, we do. And if, if Solomon had 1,000 wives, we, is it possible for, our, for us to, to, to have that uh, a, a, that not in, in, in Shona we can call it barika or polygamy? Is it possible to have many wives as Solomon did? No. no. We need to repent and to see what history holds so that we prepare for our future. future. And yeah. let's go. Uh, let's go on 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 on, on 16 LTM S M S 175-1909 paragraph 11 where it says when Jesus told his followers when Jesus mm -hmm. told his followers to search the scriptures eh? he referred to the old testament scriptures eh? for the new testament was still unwritten. So we Amen. see in Christ's time Jesus referred to his disciples, read Old Testament so that it can prepare for your future. Because they were still in the New Testament that we are reading today. They were still acting the life that we are reading today. Yes. So they couldn't read New Testament because uh, those people were the New Testament that we are reading. So they couldn't read anything. So God is saying, Jesus is saying, for you to prepare your future or to see your future, you need to read the Old, the Old Testament. Are we together? Yes. Let's go on. The Bible. The Bible is made up of many parts. Uh -huh. History, uh -huh. biography, uh -huh. song, yes. and praises, uh -huh. prayer, uh -huh. and prophecy. So, Bible is made up of many, many parts. 
One. History. It was history. Why? Why history was pointed with number one? Why history was pointed to, uh, at number one? Because hist- history holds the future. History foretells the future. And in biography, if you want to hear some of the richest people in the world, even if we take the, the equipment that they have or the the, 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 the the animals that are equivalent to the things that we value as the most expensive thing, you might see the, that they were rich. Jacob was very rich. Abraham, Jacob, we can't. everyone, everyone was who was the prophet of God was rich. Almost everyone was very rich. So we see it foretells the Bible in many parts. It tells about the biography, songs. Yes, songs. All the songs that we are singing, most of them they are coming from the Bible. Those words that we are singing, they are coming from the Bible. Praise and prayer and the prophecy. Yeah. So let's let, let us go on. Let us go on. I don't want to dwell on, on, on some of the things that I mentioned here. So let us go on. But all is inspired of God. But all is inspired of God. And is profitable for doctrine, mm-hmm. for reproof, yes, for correction, yes, for instruction in yeah. righteousness. So the Bible, it profit for a doctrine. Do you hear the the, 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 the inspiration says? It profit it, it is a it is profitable for, for doctrine. doctrine. Yes. So if if you say we that we have a doctrine that we are we are living in, it must have old or history. Do you get it? Yeah. It must have history not history of the church like it is a pentecostal church you say ah, yeah, that's gonna mugodi. or the person who started this church was a uh, mugodi uh-uh no that's not the history that we are talking about we are talking about the history of old testament how it started how it started amen even the, those people it, it, it's some churches that you can call we can't call by name but those churches that are, are here today they can tell you some of the churches. They can tell you about the history. Abraham did this. Abraham did that. Abraham did. But the confusion here is, why is they call Abraham's name? Where did you get it? But they can say, ah, oh, we don't read Old Testament because it was for, for Moses and the children of Israel. It's not for us. So how are we going to, you know, there's a lesson that I'm going to present about the appetite this i know most of the people they don't know that most of the people you are losing salvation through this this is the most dangerous and Satan knows that if 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 you get the chance of of not being uh, tempted by this by Satan. He knows that you are a strong person. Because most of us, Satan tempts us through appetite and temperance. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes. So, how are we going to know that uh, we need to control our appetite? We need to control our temperance. How are we going to, to, to see that? If you read history, you know that oh, certain, certain, yes, certain tempted our first parents through this. So this thing, he knows that for sure. If someone agabudirira i papa, yay, ah, abba, ewa papa, under nose, hey, 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 hey. This is the most yeah, a a, a temptation. That people fail to control their appetite. Yeah. So how are we going to prepare our future if we don't read about the children of Israel claiming the, 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 the claiming to eat meat? Well, God is saying, no, you don't need to eat meat. How are we going to to see that? So let's go and we see. Okay. 
In Second uh, Timothy three verse sixteen. Mm-hmm. In the term scripture. Okay, hold on. There's something that I didn't illustrate. So, the Bible. But it it, it it but all is inspired of God and is profitable for doctrine. Yes, for, for reproof, reproof. Huh? Mm-hmm. for correction. Yeah. Huh? For instruction in righteousness. That's the scriptures. So everyone needs righteousness. Yes. Everyone needs righteousness. So how are we going to have that righteousness if we don't you know, if we don't look at uh, our history? Huh? How are we going to have uh, righteousness? How are we going to correct ourselves if we don't have righteousness? If we if if, if, if we are removing the yeast part, how? So, go on. In terms, in the terms, in the term scripture eh? is included the whole treasure house mm? of revelation and knowledge in whatever form it is given. So, in all terms of scripture, it included the whole treasure house of the revelation and the knowledge in whatever form it is given. And that's the Bible. Excuse me. So, I want you to read R.H. April 20, 1897, paragraph 14. It says, In mercy, God repeats. In mercy, God repeats his past dealings. Eh? He has given us a record of his dealings in the past. So, God has given his records of uh, of his dealings in the past. Yeah. So that we, let's go on. This, we need to study carefully. You, you see, we need to study carefully. And for history uh-huh. is repeating itself. For history is repeating itself. Huh? Huh? Yes. Let's go on. We are more accountable than we... Uh, sorry. We are more accountable than were those whose experience is recorded in the Old Testament. Uh-huh. For their mistakes and their results of those mistakes have been chronicled for our benefit. Hey, hey. You see, so we've got more chance and we are being challenged. Yes. Because these things were chronicled for our benefit also. Because those people, history, they were making history for us. Yes. But they didn't have history. So that they can correct themselves. Solomon didn't have any history. So that he can't have polygamy. Do you see? Yeah. Adam didn't have any history. Mm. Who else? More? Samson. He didn't have any history. He was living with God. He was instructed if he shows he didn't have any history. But we, in these days, God is saying those things were written. Those those past things were written. For our benefit. Yes. For our admonition. Yes. Because they fail. What about us? Hmm. Are we going to keep on failing as they did? No. We are more accountable. We are more accountable. So, uh, let's go on. The danger. The danger signal Uh has been lifted to keep us forbidden ground. Uh Uh-huh. And we should be warned not to do as they did. Yes. Lest a worse punishment come upon us. So, we are being warned. We are being warned about why. We are being warned not to repeat what they did before. Yeah. The children of Israel cried for me. So, are we going to repeat that? If we repeat, God is saying, he, he, he's got more or much punishment than they receive. But how is that? Look at the punishment the children of Israel received without testing that means they all perished. 
Mm. What about us? If they they died without tasting anything, they didn't taste anything. While they were they were to take a bite, they all perished. What about us? If God is saying you will receive a worse punishment than this. So let's go on. The blessings mm-hmm. given to those of past generations mm-hmm. who obeyed God mm-hmm. are recorded that we may be encouraged to walk circumspectly mm-hmm. in faith and obedience. Amen. God didn't didn't leave the people who truly obey him. Yes. So the people who were blessed in our history. If history repeats itself, it will be repeating also. The people who obey God faithfully, they are going to be blessed. As they as, as he did to Abraham, as he did to Jacob, he's going to bless us. If we follow what God needs now. Yes. People that will be shocked, like oh, you, you you have ten Lamborghinis, Rolls Royce, uh, those are the measures of richness in our time. You have a mansion of millions. It's different from people. Um, I can't mention their names, but it's different from the other prophets or other pastors who are preaching the word of God nowadays. Because some of the thing, some of the pastors, they are bribing or they are blinding people to hear that word. But we are saying the people who follow the commandments and the things of God, the commandments, the statutes, and everything that God has required us to do, they are going to be blessed as he did to those in the uh, those in, in, in our history and yeah. so uh, read F E F E ninety three F E three ninety three it says what other book presents uh, what other book mm. presents to students eh? more enabling science, eh? more wonderful history? Eh? It clearly portrays righteousness mm. and foretells the consequences of disloyalty to the law of Jehovah. Is there an, a, a, another book yeah. which is, uh, is likely to be called a uh, or Bible or which is similar to Bible? Eh? No. There's no other book like that. Why am I saying so? A Bible, you might read Genesis 1, verse 1, up to the end. But you can read that Genesis 1, verse 1, up to the end of the other day, and you find another story very interesting. Mm-hmm. And you can read time and again and again to bring the new truth to you, but I know you can't do that. Yeah. Shakespeare wrote many books. If you read one of these books you, and you repeat it, it comes with the same story that you have read. Yes. But this one, which is called Bible, it, it, it's got more truth. Even the same thing that you're reading each and every day, Jesus wept, Jesus wept, Jesus wept, Jesus wept. It's got a uh, new truth each and every day. Yes. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God said, let there be lights. You read it, you pass it every day. But if someone reads to you and say, look, <laughs> God said, let there be light, and God said, let there be lights. There's different. It brings new truth to you. And you see, ah, but I always read this verse, but I didn't understand with this way. How come God is saying, uh, It, it 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 is a book that that the student needs. It's got more science, like noble science, more wonderful history. Yes. If you read history, history books, you know you know that 
Hitler was a very cruel leader. Hitler was this and that. Hitler, Hitler did this and that, did this and that. But you might write it in your own view, how you viewed it. But the Bible, you can't do that. If the Bible tells you Noah lived in the ark uh, 70, I, I, I can't remember, 70, I don't know, or oh, Adam lived uh, 930 and no one 950. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. But history, uh, while I was at school, we were told like, if you have, if you have the points on how the Great Zimbabwe was built, you may try to. It depends about the marker. Who is going to mark your your your, your, your paper? You might mark also all the things that you. If they are reasonable, you can mark. Because it doesn't have any actual uh, uh, answers, isn't it? Has the actual answers, but in some extent, you might put your own. You can see that this this person is a, a, a lot a lot on the history subject, so he puts his own ideas, his opinions, and you can see that it is corresponding to the key. To the question so it's different to the bible and yeah. go on okay mm -hmm. uh, it clearly portrays it clearly portrays righteousness mm -hmm. it portrays the consequences of disloyalty to the law of law <laughs> it portrays righteousness and yes. it foretells the consequences of disloyalty to the law of jehovah yeah is this book is this history book to us it is it is a history book and yes eh? no one no one is left in darkness yes as to that which god approves or disapproves eh? <laughs> yes you can put yourself in darkness because god is saying no one no one is in the darkness of what things god wants in and, and what things he doesn't want. Yes. Uh, every time I read Bible, or every time I go to witnessing, I just figure out, like, why do you people want to make a Bible a, a book of, of, of argument? If the book is saying, please obey the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Why do you want to give your own opinion, which is not written in the book? Why do you always give your own opinion? Like, I, if you believe today, early in the morning, we were having a, a lesson. It says there are some pastors and some teachers and some prophets in our days. They just say believe, and all things is. How come? Yes, you, you might be, you you need to believe, but you don't you don't need to believe only, huh? Yes. You don't need to to believe only. No one is left in the darkness as to to that which God approves or disapproves. So let us not put our opinions in the Bible. Let us see what God wants us to do, and we can do that. So. We will go on and read on SPTED 18.1. S, big S, small P, big uh, T, and E, small D. 18.1. All scripture is given by inspiration. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Uh -huh. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Uh -huh that the man of God may be perfect, mm. thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So, all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable to for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Huh? Mm. 
And that men of God, there are men of God in this earth, may be perfect yeah. through uh, thoroughly, uh, you know, truly furnished unto all, all good, works. good works. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Yes. Okay. I want you to read ED 178.3, 178. where it says, The years for which the great I am. The history which the great I am yes. has marked out in his word, uh -huh. uniting link after link uh -huh. and the prophetic chain. Yes. From eternity in the past yes. to the eternity in, in the, the future. future. Yes. What tells us where are today in the proce procession? procession of the ages eh? and what may be expected in time to come. <laughs> it says the history which the greater I am, which is God, has marked out in his own in his word, uniting link after link. Yeah. The prophetic in the prophetic chain. Yeah. In every age, uh, according to history. Not according to history uh, subjects in our schools, no. According to the history of the Bible, we see that there is a prophetic chain. And there are some quotations that says, in every age, God is a messenger. So there is a prophet. A prophet is a messenger. So it says, there is a prophetic link, link after link, a prophetic chain. For eternity in the past, to eternity it in the future. Yes. And it says, tells us where we are today. Hmm? Yeah. In procession of the ages and what we may be expected in yeah. the time to come. Mm -hmm. So how do you expect it? something that if, if you don't uh, dwell on the history so that we can see where are you today and what is to come because history can do that we are reading now some of the uh, prophecies that he are being fulfilled now but some of the people you don't know that these prophecies are being fulfilled why there is a link after link of a prophetic chain that you don't want that you, some of the people you don't want we just say no we will we, 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 we help our own pastors or our own prophet. You can choose for yourself, but God doesn't want that. You can see, so was choose was being was chosen by 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 people. Yes. But did God did God choose so? No. And what happened after? What happened after? We all know the story. So. If you don't don't like what God wants, though you might you might find your own movement, your own Bible, your own everything. Because this Bible we are reading, it, it, it belongs to what? To God. Huh? Yes. So uh, I want you to continue all the prophecy. All that prophecy mm -hmm. has foretold is coming to pass mm. until the present time mm. has been traced in the pages of history mm. and we may be assured that all which is yet to come will be fulfilled in, in its order. order in its order we hear, we hear this this quotation yeah. it says all these things that can happen in the present time it is traced in the history and we can find that those things that are happening now, if you trust it in history, you'll find it. There's nothing new. There's nothing new and, and, and it. so I want you to to I want you to read uh letter two eighteen um nineteen zero six if EV two all right it's EV two two zero point two it says 
key to history. But I want to say this. God, uh, God is saying everything in future is being fulfilled in order. Okay. It's being fulfilled in order. So I want you to read uh, EV 220.2. Okay. An understanding mm -hmm. of the hope of Christ's second coming yes. is the key that unlocks all the history uh -huh. that follows uh -huh. and explains all the future lessons. Okay. Yeah. Do you hear what the inspiration is saying? Yeah. It says an understanding of the work of Christ's second coming is the key that unlocks all the history. Huh? Yeah. That follows and explain all the future lessons. Mm. Simple as that. Simple as she is that. I want you to read uh, PRT June 8, 1899, paragraph 5. Now our time is being moving fast, so we are going to move fast. But I want you to listen to these uh, quotations. They are very powerful and we need them. The leaders in Israel yeah. professed to understand the prophecy, yeah. but they had received the folks' ideas in regarding to the manner of Christ's coming. Uh -huh. Certainly deceived them, uh -huh. and all the glories of Christ's second mm -hmm. advent. Okay. The leaders in, in, in Israel's time who professed to have all the, 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 the doctrine, because they were dwelling on, on Moses' law, they say, we keep Moses' laws. Huh? Yeah. But they received the false ideas regarding to the manner of Christ's coming. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Certainly it deceived them. And all the glories of Christ's second, ad second, second advent. This is history. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. So history is saying it will repeat itself. Huh? Yeah. So the thing that happened in Christ's time is also happening now because now it is Christ's second coming or Christ's second advent so the leaders be careful those who say we are the, we are we, 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 we are prof, uh, we, we profess uh, the, 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 the word of God we are the professors of the word of God be careful because what happened in, in the past it is also happening now Christ, Satan will give you a false ideas of what is going on or of what is going to happen in a in, in time to come huh? mm -hmm. so I want you to 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 read am I in my other P 18.3, where you say, but of the time and season. But of the times and the season. Yes. Brethren, yeah. you have no need that I write unto you. Yes. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. <laughs> wow. I know that you have heard many times of this. Uh, yes. Brethren. Of the time and season, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? For yourselves not perfectly. For yourselves not perfectly. What? That the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. You see, this we are talking about the second coming of Christ, right? Yeah. That's the day that is being said. It is. It is coming as a. It is coming as. A thief in the night. And and. Mm -hmm. That thing happened. In Christ's time, when he come, uh, when he came to this earth, people they didn't expect it as early as that, and and they, and they didn't expect it that Christ can come to the poor family. Everything was, I don't know, unexpected. but unexpected, and so those people who are being saved uh, of the time and season. There are those people who know perfectly the history. What happened? Yeah. Because they know that this day may come tomorrow or 
five, after five days, uh, after after this and such and such and such. And why? I heard some people, some of the people say, nobody knows the time of Christ is coming. Nobody is here. No, there are people who know. Because this verse is saying, all the time, what is time? We all know what is time. And the season. Yeah. Because uh, uh, if you say time, and then season, it says, because if you say time, a year is a time. A decade is a time. So you might not know. But the time is which, uh, is, which is being uh, said in here is being cut by the word season. So the time which is the term time which is being talked up uh, uh, here is the time below season. Which at this time? Weeks, day, hourly, minute, and seconds. So this is the time which are being said by this face. And and the season, you know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief at night. But I don't have a, I have no need that I write unto you because you know perfectly. Huh? So I want you to go on. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here, brethren, are not in the okay. For when they shall say peace and safety, yes. then such then destruction shall come upon them, mm -hmm. as travail upon a woman with child, uh -huh. and they shall not escape. Yes. But ye brethren, are mm -hmm. not in darkness, yes. that their day should overtake you as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. The day of the Lord is the day of sudden destruction. destruction yes. It is the day of wrath. Mm -hmm. In it is the day of wrath, which is in the Old and New Testament, mm -hmm. associated with the second advent of Christ. Mm -hmm. This day is not in the past. Mm -hmm. Hence, the language is not applicable to the Christians of past generations. Uh -huh. The Christians of the last generations, mm -hmm. the very men and women mm -hmm. who are to be living on the earth yes. when the day of the Lord comes, yeah. are here addressed. Yes. Hence, all the true Adventists yes. will regard themselves as the brethren, mm -hmm. Paul addresses mm -hmm. and his language, especially applicable to the present time. Yes, he, he continued, continues eh? in this chapter eh? without change, eh? setting forth practical duties applicable to those who are watching mm -hmm. for the approaching of the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He and in the verses 19 to 21 mm -hmm. says, Quench not the spirit, mm -hmm. despise not prophesying. Mm -hmm. Prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Mm -hmm. Here are three important injunctions. Amen. Amen. I don't know what else do you want to hear. Because these scriptures are clear. Understood, under, understand, understand it. So, here there are three injunctions which I say, prove all things. Huh? Yeah. Quench not the spirit, despite not the proper signs, hold fast and the hold fast which is good. Yeah. There, there are some people who do that because there is a quotation, there's a lesson that that we were do that I presented uh, this morning when we were taking uh, uh, bread and wine. It says there are people in many churches in many religions who are eagerly to know which is which is truth they are in our yes, language we yes. say Chidokwa, dokwa. they want to know how do they how can they be saved yeah which is caused church they want to know all that but because they are being blinded in the truth it's yet to come to them, but they are there. But you, you've got the whole plain truth. You are doing nothing. God is saying, okay, 
and the, and there's this verse that I, I always say to you, some of you, you are judging yourself. This word shall be presented to you as a witness, not for you to, 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 to repent. No, it shall be preached so that he, when, when, when the day of the judgment arrives, you just say, God, is, you just say, ah, did these people come to you? You say, yes. Did they tell you this and this and you say, yes. And, and say that was the truth. That was the truth. That that it it might be it might have uh, uh, qualified you to be among God's people, yeah. but you despised it. Yeah. You rejected it. So because of our time, I'll just read the last verse. Um, um, it's seven LTMS, is, is it? Yeah, seven LTMS, comma LT fifteen, eighteen ninety two, paragraph thirty four. When it says, "Now cling to Jesus," now cling to Jesus. Uh huh. God God calls for the faithful Caleb's. Uh huh. To come to the front. Yes. Dr. Babu's smooth words mm. and fair speeches mm. will deceive many eh. to their way. Yes. But this needs to be the mm. history of the rebellion of Jathan mm. and Abiram. Yes. It's being repeated. Yes. And will be repeated to the close of time. <laughs> Who will be on the Lord's side? <laughs> yes, this is the, 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 the story. Who will be on the Lord's uh, side? Because Korah and Dathan's history or uh, characters will be repeated as, uh, even up uh, up to the time of the end. Yes. So who will be on the Lord's side? Hmm. Who will be on the Lord's side? Because nowadays there are some of the people who preach smooth things to deceive men. Because here it says, Doctor... Uh, Doctor Baku, smooth words, smooth words, and fair speeches. <laughs> there are some of the people if if they they say they speak so you can see like hey, even if he's telling lies, you can say ah, yeah, this is true, because they know how to talk, they know how to arrange words, huh? So. This fair and the fair speeches would deceive men mm. to their own. Huh? But this needs to be. But this need to be. God is saying, uh -huh. this need to be. Let them be. Let them, be. Let them uh, uh, preach smooth things and the fair speeches. In the fair speeches, let them be. Because there are some of the people who need that. Mm. They want that to be, you know, they want smooth things. So let they preach those things. Huh? Mm. So, who will be? Who will be on the Lord's side? Eh? Who will be deceived? Eh? And in their turn become deceivers? So, who will be deceived? But in their turn will be deceivers. In our, in, in our mother's language, there is a saying that says, uh, that means to say, I, I don't know how to you say it in English. If someone knows it, he can write it uh, below there. Huh? So, who will be deceived and in their turn become deceivers? Everything is to be shaken. That can be shaken. <laughs> God is allowing anything that can be shaken to be shaken. Yes. If you can be shaken, let it be. God is saying, let them do that. Let them be shaken. But that, that, that those, okay, that those mm -hmm. which cannot be shaken make a man. Hey. That those which cannot which cannot be shaken may remain. Hmm? Yeah. So those things that, that can be shaken, God is saying, let they be shaken. 
But why God is saying let them be? Because that he is saying that because those that cannot be shaken may remain. Huh? Yeah. So the, our last quotation is in RH General 13, 1885, paragraph 6. We are living in we are living in an age when the law of God is made void. Yes. Deception deceptive errors yeah. prevail to an alarming degree. Yes. Multitudes forgetting that sin is the transgression of the law. Because following, most of us we are making a, 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 a sin as a common thing. Mm. We are making the, some of the things that you, that we know it is sin, or some of the things that we know in the past that it was sin, nowadays are made, these things are made common. I don't know why. I don't know why. These things, is, they are becoming fashionable. fashionable or common to us. Let's go on. Multitudes, mm -hmm. forgetting that sin is the transgression of the law, yes. are following the lead of the great lawbreakers, mm -hmm. the men of sin. Mm -hmm. But genuine faith mm -hmm. is not to become extinct. Yes. There are two parties in the world. Yes. The advocates of truth and purity, mm -hmm. as well as the advocates of error, error and, and corruption. corruption. Yes. And the earnest inquiry of each soul should be what is true. May God bless us all. As we hear what God wants us, we need to know what the truth holds so that we can see our future. So God is saying here, everyone should uh, uh, should in, uh, should be uh, should be earnestly inquiring of which is truth and what should be done. So may God bless the reading of His word. Amen.